So let's consider the backdrop for Treasury in 2018. As we look out through the year, economic growth has picked up around the world. This is happening in both advanced economies and emerging economies. And as a consequence, central banks are tightening monetary policy in the main, uh, with the Federal Reserve out in front. And based on past history, it's times have changed in the pace of growth and in monetary policy or interest rates that are associated with foreign exchange volatility and equity market volatility. Uh, we've already seen this in 2018 and there's no reason to su suppose that this will change anytime soon. The other factor for treasurers to consider is heightened volatility or uncertainty due to the geopolitical environment, the trade environment, and then the legislative environment in part because of elections. Overall, what City calls Vox Populi risk has risen, which creates risks of surprises, and sometimes these will be downside surprises. For Treasury, the issue, of course, is that surprises might change the company's pace of growth and cash generation and funding needs, or create volatility in funding costs, or in more foreign exchange volatility. So taken together, these are part of the backdrop for, for Treasury priorities this year. So with that backdrop in mind, we see Treasury Departments really focusing on four broad priorities. First is U.S. tax reform. So recent changes in the U.S. tax code are the most sweeping since 1986, and Treasury Departments need to manage to the end-to-end -end impacts. And these really range from the changes in liquidity management, to hedging strategies, with dividending happening more frequently, um, to changes in company trading models and business models as a result of the base erosion and, uh, uh, conditions and then the tax changes, as well as the implications of the new interest deductibility limitations on funding strategies. So that's why. Second is refocusing and working capital management. Clearly financial conditions are changing as a consequence of the rate outlook, investor expectations and, and the focus on return on, return on invested capital as well as strategic activity, and by, by that I mean M&A. Treasury departments today, this year, really need to be driving leadership and optimizing working capital for the, for the capital efficiency needs and to support top-line growth that investors are looking for and CEOs are looking for. Third is prioritizing to manage through what is an immense confluence of change. And what I'm referring to here is the multiplicity of what's happening in the environment. There's tax, mentioned U.S. tax reform, as well as the whole BEPS project, the rollout of that. There's the impact of changes in regulations and accounting standards. Uh, and there's, there's what's happening in terms of trade patterns as a result of changes, if there are any, in the trading blocks. And by that I'm referring to Brexit, uh, any changes in NAFTA if they happen, um, the impact of China's Belt and Road. These, these cause changes in companies' business models, which of course has implications for Treasury. And last, but far from least, is embracing the opportunities from, from emerging technology. There's an absolute avalanche of innovation and technological change happening because of the digitization of everything. This is creating risks and opportunities for businesses, um, as businesses are, are, are becoming more digitized, uh, which of course has an impact on Treasury and what Treasury must deal with. Um, Financial services and the banking infrastructure is transforming. For example, the move to real-time payments and banking and um, the move to open banking. And at the same time, digitization is making cybersecurity an even more of an, of an imperative for preparing for cybersecurity, uh, preparing, protecting, and response. So this is all a big shift for how Treasury remains uh, relevant and then creates more value for the business. So in forthcoming videos, what we'll do is to cover each of these four priorities in a little more detail. Thank you.